So today we'll see about a new class called URL connection class. Now, last day what we saw is something called URL class where you will be getting all the properties of your given URL. Now we will see how to create a communication link to the URL. Now to create a communication to the URL, you need a class called URL connection class. When you write it, you don't have the space in between. It goes together. I unknowingly put a space. It goes together. URL connection. No space in between. URL connection class. There's no space in between. And what it does is it creates a communication to the given URL. Now, why do you want the communication? Just in case you want to read data from the URL or to write data into the URL, you will be using the URL connection class. Now, there are lots of methods in URL, connect, URL uh, connection class, just like your URL class. The most important method is called open connection. Okay, keep in mind everything is capital case except for URL connection. URL connection is not camel case. It is as it is. The methods will be in camel case. You have a method called open connection. From the name itself, it is very clear what it does. It opens a connection to a given URL. Now, why do you want to open a connection? You need to open a connection in case you want to read, write, and get all the properties of the given URL connection, you should be opening the connection. Okay. Now, as I told you earlier, this is the most important method. Together with this, you do have many more methods, all of which we will see. You have a method called, I just went wrong in spelling a minute when I went typing, get content type. Okay. We will see everything get content type then you have a method called get url get do input okay it's a small o i went wrong in my typing get do output sorry capital o itself i'm sorry it is capital o itself get do output get lost last modified get content length get content length in long get the content type to get the date okay so these are the various methods you will be using in your url connection class okay we'll see all of that with the help of a small example so i'll open up my ide so rejida hope my id is visible yes ma'am okay uh, so we'll continue. We stopped here last day, isn't it? We stopped here where uh, we were uh, storing things from Africa into Amarnath. We've done with it. So I'll create a new class. I'll create a new program. Okay, so what name will I give it? I'll give it URL CON. Okay, URL connection demo. Okay, URL connection demo. So that's it. Now let us start programming. Okay, let us start programming with your URL connection class. You know, before I forget, let me just put a try catch. Okay, brackets are also fine. Now, let us start programming with URL connection class. Now, Rajita, tell me, for a URL connection class to work, what is the basic thing you should have? For a URL connection class to work, what is the basic thing you should be having? 
you need a url agreed yes, only if you yes. have a url you can make a connection to that particular url okay so initially i will have a url let's say i'll name it url itself is equal to new url okay i'll just copy something from my browser just a minute Mm. I'll just take a Google. Okay. So I have copy pasted a URL. Now I have created a URL. Now you have to create a connection to this url now connection can be made through a method called open connection and to use open connection you need the url connection class okay so i'll write url connection url is equal to url dot open connection okay now look here as i told you in my ppt earlier you need not make uh i'll just give another name the earlier one was url okay url con this is url okay now it's clear this is url this is url con now when you use your url connection it is not necessary that you make an object Okay, you make an instance. Now look here. In all the other classes, you usually make an instance. Okay, you make an instance with new URL and then something and whatever. Now, when you use your URL connection, you directly need to just open the connection. You need not make an instance. So, I have directly opened connection without an instance. Okay, without create, without using the new operator. i directly opened the connection and now i can directly work on my url con okay url connection url con i can now be working with it so now we will uh, work with the various methods okay uh, i'll just have a skew system dot out dot uh, print ln okay now we'll do the very basic thing the url is okay now to get the url from a url connection you directly have something called url con dot okay url con is nothing that got deleted away okay url con is nothing but your url connection okay now to get the url you have a method direct called get url okay now with a method called get url you can directly get the url of your you will be getting www. google dot com. Now we'll see. You have a, a method called get allow user interaction. Okay, the you it it will give you a boolean user interaction whether user interaction to the site is allowed or not to this particular site it is allowed or not. You have get allow user interaction i'll just import my dot net import uh, java dot net dot star okay so all those errors have gone now you can get what content type get content type okay we will see all that when we see the output you have a method called get content get content type let me just check my spelling yeah to get the content type you know i'll save it now itself and then we'll start see the input output 
together. Okay, I'll save my program. I'll run the program. Okay, now you will get the URL as it is. Okay, now this particular site it doesn't allow user interaction. Uh, the URL has set to that set it as false. That is why you're getting it as false. The content type they are telling it is HTML. They are using the ISO character set. So these are the kinds of output you will get. And I will do the next one. We'll do the next method. Uh, let's see the URL. Do input. Okay. Now do input. All these are boolean. Okay. This is this gives you a bool. This will also give you a bool. Now, do input. The method name is d o. Sorry, get d input. Get do input. Okay. Now, this get do input. All the websites they will have a get do input field and the get do output field. It would be set when the website is created itself. It is set by uh, the creator. It can either be true or it can be false. Uh, do input. It has a default of true. It has a default of true. Some way down goes the line when the creator makes it false. You might get a false. If it has not been changed by default, it is. True, you will be getting an output of true. Similarly, you even have something called do output. Do output. Okay, do output. It also will uh, return a false. Interestingly, by default, it is false. In case the creator changes it somewhere, you will be getting it as false. We'll save it and then see the output together directly. Okay. They haven't changed it. Google, it still is true. This still is false. These are the default values. Only if the creator changes it somewhere uh, down the line, you would be uh, getting a different. Now, let's see something. Get last modified. When was the site last modified? Okay. Dot get last modified. Okay, when was an update? When was an update done in the particular website? Okay, let me change, check my brackets. Yeah, fine. So let's see that. Uh, the date is you are the last modified date is last modified date is. Okay, uh, you are getting it as zero. Okay, this uh, you have to convert it uh, to a date. You have to convert it to a date format. So what we can do is um, convert it to a date format. Uh, this is something which I told you to learn by yourself. Uh, date utility. This is a utility. New date. Date is a utility. Okay. So they did a uh, the anyway. As of now, even though they did a, uh, they did the Jan first. This was the last time when they modified. Somehow, anyway, in the URL, that is the date uh, which is kept. Uh, we even have something called content length, which we had in a PPT. We'll even do that. Just copy paste. Uh, content length. Content length get get content content length get content length looks good. Okay, the content length is minus one. Okay, now why you get minus one as the content length? Look here. Can you see my PPT? No, ma'am. Just a minute. Okay. Now, why you get the content length minus one is in case in the URL they have not specified the content length. If it is unavailable, you will get minus one. 
if it is available you will get the correct content length in case it is unavailable you will get minus one that is why in this particular google uh, url you are getting it as minus one simply because the content length is unavailable we'll do even uh, one more uh, the encoding let's see what kind of encoding uh, google google has content encoding okay you have a method called get content encoding get content encoding okay as of now uh, it is not available that is why you get it null okay now we'll just do a small thing you will we'll just take amazon we'll save it the data would be completely different okay the content link looked here it is available so we are getting 2671 Okay, hope you're getting the difference between the previous output and this output earlier you got minus one because it was not available the content length of amazon is available 2671 and even earlier there were more details text html iso standards and all that amazon the only available thing is text html and even the dates would differ it all depends upon uh, you know uh, what the information on the particular website is so this is how methods in a url connection class works so what we saw now is a url connection methods okay so we saw a few url connection methods and you're okay with it now let's see how do you uh, get the code okay url connection getting code of a particular page okay let's see how you do that or you know how do you read okay how do you read from a particular web page so what i'll do is i'll just delete off all this you will write a different program things are easy for me because you know i'll just need to press a delete button okay and then we'll, uh, we'll do on the same thing we'll do on the same first we'll do on google and then we'll do on amazon but let's see we can do on rajagiri.edu rajagiri.edu Okay, so I've made a URL www.rajagiri.edu. You know what I plan in mind is I should be getting the code, the code of that particular page in the URL www.rajagiri.edu. Okay, now to I've uh, made the URL. I've even made a connection to my URL. Now I need to read. Now reading from a URL page is very, very simple. Okay, you will be using your buffered readers and your new uh, your input stream reader. So all what I'll do is I'll just create a buffered buffered read reader. Let's say br is equal to new buffered reader. I'm going to read into this buffered reader just a minute i'll just import import java dot io dot star okay uh, new buffered input reader new and i'm going to read from there so new input stream uh, reader okay now from where will i be reading it i will be reading it from my url connection now to read from the url connection i have a method called get input stream i have a method called get input stream to read from my url just a minute i'm having an error over here Okay, let's see this undefined for the type url okay it's not url you're reading from the url connection okay so url connection it has a method called get input stream 
to read okay now what you have done is you have now created a stream which will go into your url connection and try reading in from your url connection now all what you have to do is in a while loop i'll just go on reading all my stuff okay now uh, till when where should i read okay i should be reading till i reach the end so you know i'll have uh, i'll be reading line by line i'll just have a string i or something okay while uh, i'll read line by line e i is equal to br dot read line my brackets let me just check my brackets a uh, read line is not equal to null while i i is equal to they just check my brackets while i we are like okay anyway no error over that looks good okay so i'm reading each and every line i'm reaching each and every line until the whole thing is over until null and all what i'm going to do is just a minute i'll do an sop okay what do i print i will be printing each line okay i read each line and i print each line very simple okay they're telling me i have a bracket problem let me just check while try catch looks good looks good okay so i'm saving my program i'm saving my program let me run my program okay so that was a huge output just a minute i'll just big pay console big okay now all what i've got is i am getting i'm reading from my rajagiri.edu let's see whether i got things from my rajagiri.edu there should be something about rajagiri over here mm, to show that just check whether you get to see rajagiri anything 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 virtual tour yeah these are things which we had in our website oh, okay look here rcss virtual tour now you know uh, i got valley campus here yeah, perfect i've got the rajagiri dot edu things hmm rajagiri edu admissions are you able to see things rajida are you able to see things ma'am kaana okay yes so, you know uh, you can make your console bigger and then check for the whole code the whole source code of that particular page will come we'll uh, go for something smaller let's see google dot google is not edu google dot com okay google dot com i just save my program i'll run my program okay google you know things come in a different format anyway so see whenever you open a web page you know as you all know you can view source okay you go into the developer tools view source you will be able to see the code that same code now i have displayed over here using a java program this is how you read you read with the help of a url connection now what we saw now is how you read in and then you get the uh, content of a particular web page the same way you can even get the i'll just delete of this whole thing again you can do a different program i'll just work on the same thing the same okay we'll use the while loop oh i deleted of the whole thing i have to type in again okay anyway we'll use a while loop because you know you need to go on displaying till the end now uh, let's uh, do a bit of a difference we'll do character wise okay we'll do character wise i'll just copy an sop okay so first thing what i'll do is let me read okay read uh, i is equal to okay you are planning to read character wise because you know earlier we did see how to do it string wise i is equal to is dot read okay you are not using read line you are not using read line uh, instead i'm using read not is equal to for character by character means end of the file minus 1 uh, okay so it will be int i let me just check int i my brackets int 
i is equal to input stream dot read bracket okay rejita check if my brackets are correct is equal to minus 1 are my brackets okay yes ma'am okay okay sop uh, what sop i uh in i'll have to type cast it character i okay because so uh let me just check my brackets over here uh i know i need to type cast it i need to type cast it okay so yeah sop print ln system dot out dot print ln just cross check my brackets okay looks good let's run our program okay okay so what we can do is look here everything came on a different line uh instead of print ln we'll just give print so that you know the output looks much more understandable okay yeah 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 now the output looks better okay now you know these are the property of this particular url okay you know the html you can see all this okay the same way any website you will be able to do let's check amazon what happened ssl exception uh, okay oh, okay just a minute my spelling went wrong there wasn't a site called amz doen let's check okay oh amazon earlier also we had a problem hmm, it was um, let's check google yeah okay let's get check rajagiri okay so you can either do it read line or read whatever you will be able to get things out of your particular website okay so these are where you will be using url connection url connection you can either do it character by character or you can even do it line by 